Well, some guns, knives, and watches, and I guess with a one-year update of my John Deere tractor. Now, it's, it's not a very big tractor. It's a little bitty tractor. It's got 65 horsepower, uh, which that's 50, 65. The 65, of course, is the, the horsepower of it. But it just had its one-year service, and I've got a 520M front-end loader on it. That is that they are quicker release through, uh, of course, that right there. And then, you know, it's four wheel drive, of course, because, you know, everything to be four wheel drive. I don't have any fluid in the rear tires, which I really probably need to put, get some fluid put in the rear tires. That'll add about 800 pounds to the, to the rear weight of it. Uh, you can see it's just had had coolant add to, added to it, and it also had some, uh, there's some additional engine oil left over from the service. It's wet, of course, right now, uh, because, you know, it's raining. But, you know, so I'm about to put it back in the shed. Uh, by the shed, I mean the barn, but I really like it. The mower, I've had really good luck with this last year. Everybody's happy with it. Uh, it's only got about 79 hours on it. I haven't really used the uh, three-point hitch on it. Everything comes off the draw bar. I've got to get some more washers on that draw bar. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, yeah, I need to change that setup. I need to change that linkage right there because we've got... Uh, that. Yeah, that's not right. I need to put a damn uh, a nut and a bolt on that. But that's just the way it works, man. Um, if you're going to have a big mower like this one, which this is a eight, it's not a very big mower. It's an eight foot mower. Uh, I would always recommend pulling it off the draw bar instead of the three point hitch. Uh, and then it can support a lot of its own weight out of these two wheels. So you're kind of just working with those three points of contact. Of course, this has dual blades on the back of it, and uh, and this there or the other. But I don't know it's working. I'm happy with it the way it is. The uh, I'll show you a few things about it. Uh, let's unlock that. Uh, what that does is that locks the hydraulics, the vertical movement of the hydraulics. So that when you're going down the road, you know it's not hard on the system. And he greased it and did all that stuff today. So we'll come up to the operating side of it. They make this chassis for the 5065. They make it in a 5055, which is just a 55 horsepower. They've got the 65 and they've got the 75. I wish I would have had the 75. They didn't have it in stock and I got a pretty good deal on this one. It was pretty inex inexpensive uh, for what it is. Now, one thing about this tractor is, as you see here, it's got forward and reverse, just like that. I don't have to actually, you know, use the, the gear shift. I don't have to do anything like that. It's fully hydrostatic, same as basically a Bobcat. It's basically a, a, a 65 horsepower Bobcat set up in a, in a tractor. Um, you've got a clutch here, you don't have to use it see how we are of course we're low on fuel but i already knew that comes on it tells me that it's okay it also tells me it's in neutral the hours all that type of stuff of course we've got our controller here which basically controls the bucket uh, and then you know, you've got a hand throttle, foot throttle, and this there or the other. Of course, you brake. But anyway, it's a it works. Let's see if we can get this thing put up. See, I've got it in gear here. In transfer case is engaged. Now I do 
that right there. See, it's a little bit quicker. Because I used the clutch there. fit in there <laughs> but it does it's not bad i need to get i need to move that stuff a little bit farther forward and do stuff and get it where i get it in here uh of course anybody that remembers any of my old videos is a 200 uh year old almost a 200 year old barn 100 and some year old whatever uh oh one of the things i've added are the led lights i don't know if anybody's ever seen those but that's life i'll come back and do another one on that solar system still working turn it on are we good yeah we're good fans working everything's working works if you work it anyway it's guns knives and watches and uh the john deere tractor one year review and service which is kind of the big thing uh like i said my little tokyota anyway this guy's knives and watches and uh peace out everybody i put the, put the baby to bed and gonna tell it good night <laughs>
Have a good one.